So we're going to begin to discuss how to solve a quadratic equation. And a quadratic equation is simply an equation that uh, has a quadratic in it. In other words, a squared term, x squared. And so uh, we have the, in this case, just a typical example of a quadratic equation. We have x squared plus 7x minus 8 is equal to 0. And it's worth discussing what does it even mean to solve an equation. Uh, so to solve an equation means to find all the values of the variables, well, in this case, there's only one variable, x, that make the equation true. Remember, expressions are just basically numbers dressed up in symbols. But an equation is a statement. It, it is saying that something is true. Therefore, it could be true or false depending on uh, whether the person's lying or not and depending on particular values. In this case, we're saying that this equation is true, and we have to find the values that make it true. And so the first step to this is just to factor the left-hand side. And that comes to x plus 8 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. And why do we do this? Well, notice we have two factors here. And whenever you multiply two numbers together to get 0, one of them has to be equal to 0, um, or both of them, if possible. But um, there's no way that it could be 0 if neither of them are equal to 0. So therefore, there are only two situations where this equation can be true. And that is when either of the factors is equal to 0. So in the first case, we have x plus 8 is equal to 0, which means that x is negative 8. And in the second case, we have x minus 1 is equal to 0, in which case x is equal to 1. Now, how do we write our answer? Um, there are many ways of writing it to get the idea. I think an informal way is writing x is equal to negative 8, x is equal to 1, or maybe x is equal to negative 8, comma, comma 1. Um, but I think a classier way to do it is use set notation, just because it eliminates any possibility that you can imagine that x is both of the numbers at the same time. Instead, you're saying x belongs to the set containing these numbers, meaning it could be uh, any one of these numbers, but there's no chance of you thinking that it could be uh, both numbers at the same time. Not like you would, but it's just a little bit uh, more precise and better to write it that way.